Go ahead. Hey, we oh, could don't record me. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so 26 years ago today, Ariana was in Aristide Nyani was the Oklahoma City bombing. I know because I went for a level two ultrasound and my amniotic fluid had gone down drastically and Ariana's right thigh bone wasn't as long as the left one. So they were gonna do a non-stress test on me. So I called mom and Nick, Ariana's dad, who were at Bill's. I was at Women and Infants crying, telling them they were gonna do a non-stress test and what was going on. I was scared. Wait, what did they, why did they think that, why, why is it bad? Well, obviously, but you know, what, ex what reasons did they explain and why is it bad that the left thigh bone was not as long the as right. the right? Because oh, the right was not as long as the left or the left? Because the right wasn't as long as the left. Because, well, I had a high-risk pregnancy. I know that, yeah. So they want, obviously, the l length of the legs to be the same. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, right. Yeah. So um, they come up to me. Mom and Nick got there in, like, it's a half-hour ride. They got there in, like, 15 minutes. Wait, can you wait a moment, please? <laughs> Anybody want to say anything right now when we can hear you? Where are you with mom's kissing? <laughs> I didn't hear you. I said, where are you with mom's kissing? <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, this will be the part of the memory. Okay. Is the noise. Wait, wait, no, no, don't stop. I mean, don't well, start. I wasn't prepared for this, so I'm not telling the story I said that I should be. I didn't expect to be recorded. Well, should I start from the beginning? So no. That Okay, this is an honor. Un, um, this is an awkward set. So okay. they come up to me, the doctors come up to me and say, We're not going to do the non stress test. We're going to admit you and put you on bed rest to um, see if your fluid goes up. So they do. And um, so that's how I know that we're both still home in the city bombing for that day <laughs> because that was all that was on TV and in the beginning it was interesting but then it got a little boring not yeah. to I'm not trying to say that in a bad way but it was the whole TV and I was worried and crying and I know so the next day wait, wait which is the day that I was which day was I instructed to rub your nipples I'd like to know that one I was I instructed that. to rub yeah because they're going to induce you and, and they're um, like rubber well, nipples. And I'm well, like, oh. Okay, so Thursday, they, <laughs> Thursday, they, um, Thursday the inserted what? me the 20th. Okay. 20th. They inserted me with laminaria, which is a seaweed. That's often Seaweed? It's a, it's a kind of seaweed. It's often just. What's that, Mom? It's often your cervix, so you can start to dilate. Uh huh. So, nothing. I just had like a couple little mini contractions at night, nothing. Well, not contractions, but like I was, I got a little dilated, whatever. So, Friday, not contractions, I dilated just a little bit. Friday morning, the 21st, they started at 6 a.m. with Pitocin, which is self induced. So, all day, I had contractions, blah, 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 nothing. But, so the next morning, Saturday morning, April 22nd at 6 a.m., they started inducing me again. And um, I started. I think it was the day before really, I was supposed to rub. I started ha having. Oh, Friday was a day I'm not a criminal. Happened. Yeah, we'll get okay. into that one. Okay, well, I. I went to Saturday without saying that one. Yes, and, um, Pam Melanie was kicked out by Grandma uh, because, because she's not a criminal. They would only allow two people in the room at Woman and Infants because a nurse stole a baby, blah, blah, blah. So, blah, blah, blah. Baby was stolen, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, be in there. And, um, of course, Nick was going to stay. So, poor Pam Melanie had was forced to leave oh my god i was waiting all day there. for the phone call yeah i was waiting 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 it was taking so long <laughs> so and then at what time did i get so when i get so saturday they start inducing me again at six o'clock in the morning and then um so i had 
They told me, you know how they have the machine with the, yeah, yeah. like, like the, the heartbeat thing? Yeah. They said, you'll know you're having a big contraction when it's like a mountain peak. So I had two of those and I said, give me the epidural. <laughs> <laughs> so of course it was a man anesthesiologist and I'm having a contraction as he's trying to stick this needle in my back to numb me. And and I had a contraction, and he's like, I told you not to move. I said, you got to do this without me. <laughs> you know, like a pregnant yeah. lady in labor. Um, so they give me the epidural. And at 1.15 in the afternoon, Saturday, April 22nd, I started pushing. And I had, what time? What time? I had doctor, anesthesiologist, student students because i was like high risk and in the room with, but, but i couldn't be in the room with my yeah i don't want to get graphic um what is that vicky i'm very innocent i don't know what <laughs> um um and we had waited we didn't want to know the sex of the baby and the nurse is like oh, i see a lot of hair it's a girl and i'm like and she's still you know and, and i'm like <laughs> like, I've been waiting for a long time, time. Like, so, you know? Yeah. Maybe it was a boy with long hair, but you know. Yeah. Anyway. Yanni had and, a lot of hair. And the hair was black. Uh, like, yeah. Like, um, because then it fell out and became blonde. And then so Nuli like, didn't have any hair for a while. Right, exactly. For a very long while. So, anyway, I, I started pushing at 1 15 and at 1. 46 p.m. Saturday, April 22nd, Miss Ariana Maria DeMontis was born. Yay! Mm. And then that night, we kept her in the room with us, and we were like, oh, we have such a good baby, because we could hear all the other babies crying. <laughs> Ariana was sleeping. And then the very next day was, <laughs> Newly was getting up her energy for the next day. Wow! Okay. <laughs> and then she was jaundiced. Well, Monday, I got discharged from the hospital, and I was trying to nurse her, and her little lips were all tapped. And mom and I gave her sugar water. Gave her? Sugar water. Because we were, a bit, like I was so trapped. She had, she was born five pounds, and five pounds, seven ounces, and she went down to four pounds, an ounce. So, which is scary. Which, yeah, it, she was five weeks early. I know. I remember her being jaundiced. Like, I remember us so, asking, is she? She looks kind of yellow. Is it yellow? Is it my imagination? Oh, I told them this kid is, and I didn't, I was 21 years old. I didn't know what jaundice was. I know. I was like, this kid is yellow. And they're like, no, 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 she's fine. And no, 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 she's fine. So they let me come home one day and try to nurse her. We're not sure if she's getting anything. Mama's always so, Right. So we give her sugar water, and I was I was so scared to give her her first bath. This was after the jaundice. I'm jumping ahead for one second. I was so nervous to give her her first bath, and you did in this bathroom over here in the sink. Thought she was so tiny. I know. So the next day, Tuesday, I was talking to you on the phone, and I'm trying to nurse her, and I'm like, no, I'm not sure if she's getting anything. Her lips are so chapped. And you said to me, Vicky, if you're still working, go to Dr. Cromley. So I did that day, that Tuesday. And um, he sent us to South County Hospital to get blood tests. Blood tests from a two day old baby is from the heel. And it's wah, wah, wah. I'm crying with in the, my, like in the corner, my hands over my ears, my eyes, because like, I couldn't I know. watch. And Nick was looking for a candy machine. <laughs> and um, so they sent us home. He was tired, Vicky, okay? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so tired. I, I gave birth. He gave birth. <laughs> so they call us, um, they sent us home, they call us Tuesday, and they say, get to South County Hospital now. Her jaundice was 22, and it should be 12. So. I had just gotten out of the hospital from Tuesday to Monday. This was now Tuesday, the following Tuesday, back at South County Hospital, where they put her under the light. The they put her in an incubator red light. with um, uh, bandages on her eyes. 
Yeah. The lights wouldn't hurt her eyes. And we could only feed, hold her to feed her and then to clean out the diarrhea of the Billy Rubin. A two day old baby will have about a quarter of an ounce of formula. She was so hungry, she had almost an ounce of formula at her first feeding. So this has always been a the strong nurse girl, said then. to mom, your granddaughter, this is just an inconvenience. Your daughter, as with this, just had a baby, needs to go home, and because I wouldn't leave the hospital, needs to go home and get some rest. So after much, much convincing, I left for like an hour. Yeah, but you back. knew that... Well, mom, someone was mom there. Was mom was there. there. Mom, like some, was we wouldn't there. have let Ariana without anyone there. Um... And then um, I went back, and then we had kept putting off getting baby clothes, saying next week, next week we'll go to Rochelle's. And then, and we did, we, we she did came early. early. Yeah. So mom um, said, you two go to Rochelle's. She gave me 300 in cash, 95, that was a lot of money. Of course. And she's like, she didn't want us to take out a Stevie, who was 15 months old and a little toddler, because she wanted like me to yeah. you know, relax and so she had Eddie Stevie as a toddler running around and every three hours having to feed Ariana and then clean out the incubator. Nick got jealous that you and I got to go and like like he really wanted to look for baby clothes. I know. Um and left mom there alone. If his loyalty wasn't to his city, his loyalty should have been to his child. Wait, 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 now you're making it more. So, the night before, by the way, she was born, I'd like a quick mention of what happened. Not the night before she was born, but the night before you went into, in, into the hospital. What had happened? Let's go. Oh, was that was the night before? The last school yes! Year? That was the night before? Yes. <laughs> what happened? Maybe that's what made my amniotic fluid go down. We always say that. My sister and I did had this little dance to Let's Go Zootia. <laughs> in the hall of my house. We were in your living room. Your, living well, room, and we went to the hall. Like, yeah. Over there. And uh, Manoli and Nico were in front of the like couch. And I made a dance move, and I farted. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Manoli laughed and laughed and laughed because he finds it hysterical. Because, because his fart. wife never does. Why? <laughs> so he never well, heard I the noise before. Well, I have a story before. about that, but I'll tell you at another time. Where, right, love. Where my, Sign off right my now. My angel and... monkey did do that. <laughs> Never. For me. Shh, shh. No. Sign off now. Okay. I know. I told the wrong story. Love you. I'm sorry. So, no, no. anyway, she was in the hospital Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then we came home. And then she was colic. Oh, wait, wait. Question. Do then she was colic. Do you remember what she wore getting out of the hospital? Do you remember at all? No. No? no. Either time? No. Um, I think they, because... She was born early. Like that's true. We weren't prepared. We weren't prepared. And, and I don't know. I don't maybe think the hospital something of a disease. Like, expected me to give birth either. They didn't know where it was going either. Because that's true. She was five weeks early. Well, he probably put something of Aristides on. Maybe he wore the, she wore the same outfit that yep. Aria did when he got. Uh, yeah. What, what better? Um, you remember Rick Schlosser? That's the Rick other thing that the clothes were huge on her. Remember Rick and Janet Schlosser? Yeah. Okay. I remember Rick coming to see her, Rick and Janet, and he fit from here to here. She fit up wow. from here to here on him. And now, now Rick is, was a tall guy, but still. Right, exactly. Um, and, and then, oh, and that Sunday is the Sunday, the day after she was born. Saturday, Friday, we told Phil. Saturday she was born. Sunday. Um, what? Sunday. Manoa. Um, yeah. Um, Joe to North Carolina. And then. Um, North Carolina. North Carolina. North Carolina. North Carolina. Could you say it? Well, what? Could you say it louder? So, 
Which one? All of it, because, like, so, Sunday? Friday, we told Phil. Sunday, she was born. Sunday was Easter. It was Easter Sunday that year. And John and Dad. Yeah. And Bill Manoli left for North Carolina driving. A week later, Mom and Nick drove to North Carolina. And a month later, you and I, Arisidi and Ariana, flew to North Carolina. Yanaki wasn't born yet. Um, he came. He came after North Carolina. Two years, almost, almost two years later. Yeah. But he was in our hearts, and we knew he was coming, and we loved him so much. Yeah.